All right, let's talk about some lions. At least got four videos coming today. So we got, I got one in the books, one more coming. So let's get to it. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Make sure, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All my social media links in the description. Also, don't forget to check out my channel, Goodfellas Sports TV, for more sports, music, news, and entertainment. And we're going to talk about Marvin Jones basically saying he going from the Detroit Lions. But first, Jerron Curse wasn't just cut from the Lions for no reason or they was looking to play the young guys. Apparently, or reportedly, he broke some team rules. Let's talk about it. But, um, yeah, he broke some team rules. They didn't specify what rules he broke. But remember, we had that one lineman. He ended up going to... Uh, he ended up going to the Miami Dolphins, and I think they said he got a, I think it was C.J. Mosley, but I don't want to say it. It was him for real, and apparently he got caught smoking that weed in the, um, in the hotel room. I can't think of it. Maybe they was in the U.K. or something like that for a game, and they cut him, but um, he ended up joining the Dolphins, I think. I could be wrong. But, yeah, I mean, Jerron Curse, he did get in trouble for some pids, and he's supposed to be a highly taught of free safety, so I'm guessing they wasn't happy with his performance in seven games. He got over almost 60 tackles, 59. And my thing is, you know, people break rules. It depends on what he did. They said Matt Patricia just show up to games, show up to, um, excuse me, practices and meetings late. So what is break break the rules? All right? It's breaking the rules, him being a little bit outspoken, and with him being outspoken and being the voice in the locker room, and when he do something that kind of tiptoe the line that other players can do or some can't, then did y'all want to cut him or say that? It depends. Pretty much, they probably didn't like his personality. You know how the Lions is, man. Um... If they don't like your personality, then they get rid of you. I don't think it's like that. It ain't. It, it just ain't that. Uh, you can play or can't play. Remember, they got rid of uh old boy over there making plays for Seattle. Um, Quadre Diggs, he balling. Everybody's talking about Darius Slay having a bad year. Shit, the Philadelphia Eagles having a bad year. But there, the Quadre Diggs over there creating plays, and he was a great player in the locker room. But guess what? He had he had too much influence over the locker room with Darius Slay. So they got rid of him. It wasn't about if you can play or can't play. Same thing with Glover Quinn. It was about him having too much influence over the younger guy. So, with Jerron Curse, you know it is what it is. Um, uh, you know, at the end of the day, now, really, they got only one safety that I see that's really good enough to play in his league at a high level, and that's Tracy Walker. But that is what it is. So let's move on in the video. I'll put the screenshots up. Apparently, Marvin Jones said he gone. He said he want to be part of a contender, and he want to play for these losers. <laughs> Or he want to contend. He knows the rebuild coming up. So, only reason they keep Marvin Jones, if they franchise tag, what I mean, they can't tag Romeo, they can't tag Kenny Galladay. And my thing is, you know, Marvin Jones said he hadn't had fun in a long time until they fired Matt Patricia. And it was some rumors. It might have been the first year that Matt Patricia was here. I think he hurt himself that um that they was on they was on the verge of trading him because he was one of those other guys who had influence in the locker room. So, I ain't mad at Marvin Jones. I mean, it ain't no point of bringing him back. You know, Amendola slow. He getting slower. He kind of turned up at the end of the season. But we seen that Amendola and Marvin Jones and Quintez Cephas can't carry a football team or receiving core without Marvin without Kenny Galladay. So in reality, you might be coming. You might be missing all your starting receivers coming to this year. So do you really want to bring Matthew Stafford back with Quintez Cephas, a rookie, a cheap at the end of his career free agent like the Lions do? At the end of the day, everything is pointing to them bringing in a rookie quarterback. Or bringing another quarterback. I don't think Danny Amendola want to come back to Detroit. You know, I don't think Mar Marvin Jones said he basically want to join the contender. And Galladay might be done. So you're gonna bring Matthew Stafford back next year with three new receivers or Quintez Cephas? That's just stupid. You know, and I don't blame Marvin Jones. I mean, he been here. I think he exceeded people's expectations. I know people saying, "Oh, we don't. I don't like Marvin Jones. Why are they bringing him here?" And I said he'd be a good receiver. I seen him the year before he. I mean, the year before he broke his leg or blew his ACL out or whatever it was in Cincinnati, and he was a baller. I was telling everybody like he's gonna be a good player, and he was a good player. I think he exceeded people's expectations. He filled the void a little bit with Calvin being Jones, but gone. But at the end of the day, he want to win. You know, he want to win, and he know the Lions not gonna win nothing. He know they not committing they not, one to know how to win. And the commit to win is two different things. You got to commit to win and know how to win. The Lions haven't committed to winning. We don't know if they're going to commit by this new hiring or whatever going on. But I don't blame them. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, quiet response, or video quest. Keep sharing the videos. All my social media links in the description. Fast forward recently, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. All the links there. You want to make a donation. Cash app CJ Good 313 That's in the description. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. And don't forget to check out the channel, Goodfellas Sports TV, right here on YouTube. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time.
Mercy Sports Talk. We on.